Okay, um, this is a mini lesson on um, polyrhythms with the jazz rod cymbal pattern. So um, I'm gonna deal with just fours and fives and I'll try to be really clear and quick and concise. So for me, independence is not just the ability to play a bunch of different limbs together, it's also the ability to honor the stroke types that are being used. So for me, there are different drummers that have different approaches with the ride cymbal pattern. The way that I like to adopt it is that beats one and three are an upstroke, uh, beats two and four are a downstroke, and then the skip beat is a tap. One, two, let three, four, let one, two, let three, four, let one. So the question is, how do I really know how to play 16th notes with triplets? And the answer is, let's look for the math of it. So I'm dealing with threes and fours. If I take the 16th notes, which are groupings of four, and I m maximize that to think of them as quarter notes. So instead of one E and a, I'm thinking of one, two, three, four. In that context, I'm using the triplet subdivision. The next question you wanna ask is, how do I create three equidistant notes that would be the subdivision of what the ride cymbal pattern would be. The question is, how do I create three separate notes in the context of one, two, three, four in eighth note triplets? And the answer would be half note triplets. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. So from this perspective, in this macro sense, beat two and four of the ride cymbal pattern would be beat one, and the let of three, the third half note triplet. So that would be one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. Now adopting the stroke types. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. Excuse me. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one. Now, how would I do fives? It's the same methodology. One, two, three, four, five is quintuplets turns into one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, five triplet. The question then is, how do I create three distinct notes for the ride cymbal pattern in five? Rhythmically, that's half note, no, excuse me, it's triplets grouped in five. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, five triplet, one. Let, trip. So it's the trip of four. I found a solid mathematical way to actually see where that is. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, five triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, five triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, five triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, five triplet, one with the stroke types, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, five triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, five triplet, one. Those are the ways in which you can actually find and spot and navigate dealing with complex rhythms with the ride simple pattern. And for me, it's actually helped my ride simple playing. Hope it helps.